One of the major implications of relativity is that light always travels at the same speed. This leads to an interesting conundrum if you imagine a friend on a train moving near the speed of light. Let's suppose your friend shines a beam of light upward, represented by the green ball in the animation. You could watch as the beam of light travels up and to the right to strike the ceiling of the train, then bounce back and strike the floor of the train. From your frame of reference, you saw the light move in a diagonal line up and to the right, then down and to the right. Now let's suppose you and your friend switch places and now you're the one on the train. You repeat the experiment and watch the light move up and then back down. You do not observe the light moving to the right because you are in the same reference frame as the car. Here's where things get weird. If we compare these experiments side by side, the light must travel at the same speed in each reference frame. The light does not get to travel any faster just because the train is moving in one of the reference frames. If we then measure the amount of time it takes for the light to reach the ceiling and then return from each viewpoint, we get different time measurements. This means that the time measured by the person in the train and the time measured by the person outside the train are different even though they're watching the same events happen. Relativity explains this difference by showing that moving clocks run slow. This is a bizarre outcome, but there's really no escaping it. Neither of these observers can be considered right or wrong. They're simply getting different measurements based on their reference frame. And playing around with the problem shows that adjusting the parameters like the speed of light or the speed of the train causes the time difference to change. In the end, we can only conclude that time moves differently for different observers. You can learn more about this behavior by completing the activities at the link in the description below.